Here we go, under the boom. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of UnderTheBoom.com Consumer Reports Division. We have, <laughs> Kay and I have had the uh, these self-inflating or inflatable uh, life jackets for years and have never tried them in actual practice. And we just bought new life jackets and we don't know how the old ones actually work or whether they work. We've just been storing them at the bottom of our locker without even checking them. So today, after we got new life jackets, we're testing the old ones in the pool to see what happens because we have no idea. Okay, here, here's Kay. Let's see. Kay's gonna do a man overboard. Okay, Kay. Ah! How is that? It's not good. It's choking me. Oh no. <laughs> Well, <laughs> there you go. Okay. okay, it's a good thing to test. It's working. It's working. <laughs> but it's a little too tight. <laughs> oh. well, I'm so glad that it works, but I guess you gotta, uh, uh, I don't know. Well, it, it brings you face up, right? <laughs> yes. Let's see, is this one firm? Oh, that's very firm. <laughs> and this one's also very firm. And you have a whistle and the self-inflatable uh, Self-inflating thing, just like on the airlines. Okay. Well, this is a good piece of data to to know. So we'll get K out of this, and I'll try <laughs> try mine. Okay, hold on. This is stuff I've never you know seen before because I haven't inflated one of these on purpose before. But you inflate these. Otherwise, the blue outside thing, and it, it's bright yellow. You've got reflective tape. You can see it from all over the place. The self-inflating thing is, is very self-explanatory, just like on the airlines when you go on the airplane and say you may need to blow up your, your uh, life jacket. It comes with a whistle. I didn't know that. I was thinking, here's the whistle. But it's highly visible and it stays very buoyant and very very firm and it worked it worked on the first try without any maintenance for many years so the question now becomes do we want to rearm this and keep it as a spare maybe I don't know we'll take a look at it for consumer reports on under, under the boom.com this is Phil Decker reporting